Kia ora, I'm Michelle from the Waikato River Authority. In this video I will cover how to use Smarty Grants to submit an invoice and or a project update, what supporting evidence you need to provide in order to claim your funding, and how to upload this information into Smarty Grants. For Waikato River Authority funding over $50,000, we make payments to you once you've completed pieces of work. You can claim your funding in one lump sum at the end of your project or as you go. Most recipients claim funding as they go, so will submit many invoices and reports over time as they carry out their project. Regardless of how you choose to be paid, we still expect you to give us an update on your project every six months. For projects where the Waikato River Authority funding is under $50,000, you have the option to be paid 80% of the funding upfront and the following 20% upon completion of the project. If this is your situation, please contact us directly as there is a slightly different process for claiming your funding. You will need to provide evidence that you've spent your money in accordance with your project plan outlined in Schedule 1 of your deed of funding. Evidence can include project-related invoices and receipts, photos, works contracts, publications, meeting minutes, etc. Try and name your documents something that will make sense to us. If you have a lot of photos to upload, please insert them into one document and add captions so we can easily understand what they are showing. We also suggest you use a spreadsheet to keep track of your project budget and costs. When undertaking your project, please keep to the tasks and timeframes outlined in your deed of funding. If your tasks or timeframes are likely to change, please get in touch with us as you may need to complete a project variation form. To claim your funding, you'll need to log into Smarty Grants and complete the form called Project Report to be completed as required. This is where you upload your invoice to us and provide a project update. So let's suppose you've completed some work and are ready to claim your funding. Before you log on, ensure you have your signed WRA Deed of Funding handy, particularly the project plan in Schedule 1 at the back of the Deed of Funding. Schedule 1 in your Deed of Funding has specific agreed tasks and timeframes. You will need to use the same wording as these when it comes time to do your project report and invoice. If you've made project variations since your Deed of Funding was signed, then you'll need your WRA project plan spreadsheet handy. Use the same wording in this document when completing your invoice and project report. Also, before you log in, you will need to make out an invoice to the Waikato River Cleanup Trust for the funding that you are claiming. If you need help with the invoice, you can follow the example invoice in the project reporting section of our website. Once you have your invoice ready to go and your deed of funding or project plan spreadsheet handy, you are ready to log into Smarty Grants. Log on to Smarty Grants through the project reporting section of the Waikato River Authority website. Once you are logged into Smarty Grants, click on My Submissions. This will take you to the page where you can see all the projects you have started and submitted applications for. So I have logged on using my username and password and on my Smarty Grants page I can see I have submitted an application to the 2019 funding round. In my case it is a test application called Protecting Lamprey Habitat in Mount Prongia Streams. The green tick shows that it has been submitted. You will also see a form called Project Report to be completed as required. This is the form you will need to fill out each time you want to submit an invoice or a project update. If for some reason you can't see this form, please phone us so that we can load it. You will see the form contains a range of questions that you need to answer. Go ahead and enter the date and your name. You can save and close the form part way through and come back to finish it later by clicking on the save and close button at the top. If it is the last report for your project and your project is now finished, please tick Final Report, otherwise tick Progress Report. If you have an invoice made out to us that you would like us to pay, please tick Yes. Enter the invoice number and upload your invoice here. In this next section, please provide a few bullet points or a paragraph explaining what the purpose is of your report. In this example, I'm going to put 
to provide an update on the following recently completed tasks from our deed of funding. For those of you who don't know what a pihiro is, it is a native New Zealand fish, also known as lamprey. You will see I have used the same wording as in Schedule 1 of my deed of funding. If your deed of funding has been varied and you instead had a project plan spreadsheet, you would use the same task wording from your spreadsheet. Click Next to go to the next page. If you are submitting an invoice, the next thing you will see is a section called Summary of Project Expenditure. If on the previous page you click that you are not submitting an invoice, you can skip forward in this video a few minutes to the next section about Tasks Completed. Here you are asked to fill in the table with the relevant information for the tasks you have completed and the tasks that you are invoicing us for. Ensure you use the same task wording as on your deed of funding or your project plan spreadsheet. The dollar values you enter in the table must be the same as those on your invoice and should be GST inclusive. For example, I have made out an invoice to the Waikato River Cleanup Trust for $10,000 for a Pihiro survey and $5,000 towards two iwi internships. I have used the same wording as in my deed of funding. So in the table, I will enter these two items. I am going to select the 1st of January to the 30th of June for the funding period, as this is the period I am invoicing within. The name of my first task is Pihiro Survey, 16 survey days across eight waterways. I am invoicing $10,000 for this, and I am going to select Yes, as this task is now complete. I have three invoices from a subcontractor as evidence of the work being completed, so I will mention them in my comments. The next task is internship for two iwi interns. I also have two contract documents as evidence that I employed the two iwi interns, so I will also mention this in the comments cell. Upload your supporting invoices below the table. Only upload supporting invoices in here. Don't upload any other supporting documents like photos or reports. Your other supporting documents, such as my contracts, will be uploaded further down. If you have a more complex project with many tasks or supporting invoices, say more than eight, please upload a separate spreadsheet summarising these when you upload your invoices. Your spreadsheet should list each task you have completed, the funding you have available for that task, and then list the supporting invoices for work undertaken relating to that task, along with the dollar amount they are for. This will enable us to easily match your supporting invoices to the correct tasks. Rather than uploading lots of individual supporting invoices, please put all these together in one document. The next section of the reporting form is where you provide us more information about the tasks you have completed. Enter the first task name in the box. I'm going to type in Pihiro Survey. In the work undertaken for this task, you then write some paragraphs to tell us about the work you undertook. If you have any supporting information, such as photos or project reports relating to the task, you can upload it here. I'm now going to type in some information about what work was undertaken for that task.
Most people will report on several tasks, so you can click the plus symbol to enter more tasks. I will enter my second task. My second task was internship for two iwi interns. And now I'm going to upload my two supporting documents. The next section is titled Other Funding, Cash Contributions. This is where you talk about the cash contributions that have been made towards the tasks that you've listed above. Refer back to your deed of funding or project plan as the other funding should really be no less than that stated in your project plan or your deed of funding. In my project, there was a cash contribution made by Wakata Tainui, so I am going to state that $12,000 was contributed to the two iwi interns from Wakata Tainui. The section titled In-Kind Contributions is where you talk about any in-kind contributions that were made to the tasks you are reporting on. Once again, refer back to your deed of funding or project plan, as the other funding should ideally be no less than that stated in your project plan or deed of funding. The next section is about health and safety. This is where you tell us about what health and safety measures were implemented and provide any detail about near misses, injuries or health and safety issues. The next section is titled Future Project Work. This is where you tell us about the next steps of your project and whether the project is still going as planned. So for me, the next phase of the project is to progress as planned in our deed of funding. Agreements have been reached with landowners regarding fencing and planting of the waterway and fencing is scheduled to start in March next year. If this was your final project report, there would be a page at the back that asks you to enter some final output data about your project. However, this is not the case in this example, so I am going to click Submit. If there are questions you have forgotten to answer, the form will prompt you to answer these before it will let you submit. Once you have submitted your form, it will be sent to the Waikato River Authority for processing. If you go back to the My Submission screen, you will see that a green tick has appeared to show that your form has been submitted and you won't be able to edit it any further. You can, however, come back to view it again in the future if you need to. Each time you submit a form, we will load a blank one for you to fill in next time. So that covers everything you need to know about project invoicing and reporting. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.